Aliens. Are they real? Have they visited us before? Do they abduct people? Or do we abduct them? Is there a higher being intelligence out there? Or maybe there's the possibility that we are the superior beings. Well, if you heard the news in the last 24 hours, apparently aliens are actually real. So some whistleblower um, I named, what was his name again? So David Grush is the man who um, has supposedly exposed and has become a whistleblower for this um, so-called um, UFO discovery, not really discovery, but more, um, I think it's, I think you'd call it like experimenting. So he was, um, so he led analysis and unexplained anomalies phenomenon, or also known as the UAP within a US Department of Defense agency until this year. He told um, the House Oversight Committee in Washington that non-human beings had been found and as the issue of alien life received its highest profile airing to date. So, basically what this guy is saying is that he was working um, on, you know, unexplained anomalies phenomenon, uh, phenomena, which basically UAP, I think that pretty much means that things that in this world that just can't be explained um he pretty much runs the analysis uh, he pretty much runs all that and he was working in, uh, at least in the u.s defense department and he was working there until this year but since quitting his job he has now come out and has just absolutely popped the lid open and has just completely come out and said that you know aliens are real and we were doing experiments on them and one of the big things that he was talking about as well is that America apparently is trying to restore some of these UFOs that have crashed landed within the US. And I'm going to show a little video now of him talking just briefly. And I guess for a minute and a half, but it's him talking in the, um, the House of Conduct pretty much. Thank you all very much. Um, have you faced any retaliation or reprisals for any of your testimony or anything on these lines? Yeah, uh, I have to be careful what I say in detail because there is an open uh, whistleblower reprisal investigation on my behalf, and I don't want to compromise that investigation by providing anything that may uh, help provide somebody information. But it was very brutal and uh, very unfortunate, some of the tactics they used to um, hurt me both professionally and, and personally, to be quite frank. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. As they say, when you're over the target, that's when they do the most firing at you. Do you have any personal knowledge of people who have been harmed or injured in efforts to cover up or conceal these extraterrestrial technology? Yes. Personally. Have you heard, have anyone been murdered that you would think, that you know of or have heard of, I guess? I have to be careful asking that question. I directed people with that knowledge to the appropriate authorities. Maybe in a, um, if we could get it, get in a um, confidential area skiff we could talk about that but unfortunately um, we were denied access to the skiff and that's very unfortunate in this in this scenario so obviously he can't really talk too much about it as he said he's currently being investigated for being a whistleblower so that kind of is what's sparking also people's um, interest of thinking that it's real because if you're actually getting investigated for being a whistleblower and you're you know if you're under contract and say that you know when you leave this job you're not allowed to say anything and now he's coming out and exposing basically the u.s defense department and his former department that he worked in saying that you know oh you know they're basically coming after me and i'm um in danger personally professionally and all that stuff that that's where it's kind of raising of like this could actually be true Especially, like I said, he couldn't talk too much, but he did say that he has mentioned that there is extraterrestrial life. Now, me personally, I do think that there is something out there. There is no way that in this vast, vast galaxy universe, I can't remember what the biggest one is, but whatever, there's no way that we are the only people out here. There's, there's no way that Earth is the only planet that has life on it and especially intelligent life as well because there could be other planets where it's just fucking birds let's be honest and they, they're not actually intelligent life. but there's definitely going to be some planets that have intelligent life now the, the thing that i am skeptical of and i've seen a lot of people be skeptical of it as well and i can kind of see both sides to it is that a lot of people are saying why is it that whenever there's something about aliens 
It's always in the goddamn US. And you know what? Majority of it's fucking true. So majority of the UFO sightings have come from the USA. I think I looked it up before and it was like something like 63,000 um, UFO sightings have come from the or have come from the USA from um, I think the first UFO sighting was in 1947, which I will get to in a second. Um, so, yeah, and in the majority of the other world, there's a couple, you know, I think the Oceanus only had something like 700 and then there was another continent. I think it's Europe has had something like 10,000 or, or something like that. But, you know. It, it is extremely strange that, you know, most of these big UFO sightings only seem to happen in English-speaking countries, really. And when it comes to the rest of the world, you don't hear fucking butt fuck about anything. Maybe it's because they're either keeping it hidden more or because one side is, or the US is just lying about things. And like I said, I can kind of see both both ways because if a UFO crashed in Russia, I'm pretty sure that they'd want to keep it as secret as possible. But at the same time, why is it that always these UFOs don't like crash, you know, where no one sees it? You know, well, are we just that, that one day, you know, a UFO crashed in Melbourne and then every single person in the world was just, you know, used with um, the, th the, the forget the device for men in black where it just makes you forget everything that happened in the last 30 minutes and then they quickly cleaned up the whole entire city like i seriously doubt that that actually happened uh, i'm getting fucking like i'm putting my tinfoil hat on right now so it's like i i, I need someone to go get me a tinfoil hat because this is it honestly is what this is about right now this is literally tinfoil hat conspiracies which i don't really like to get into too much but it's a really interesting topic and i fucking wanted to talk about it anyways like i'm getting my tinfoil hat on now because it's getting Super thing. But you know what? There could be a Men in Black. There could not be. Who fucking knows? But there is definitely going to be some life out there. But at the same time, if life did crash here, like if it honestly crashed here, those people, to be able to travel that kind of distance, you know, the technology you would need is, is unbelievable. So there is no way that, you know, that these people who have traveled that far you know, the people back home have gone like, oh, these people have gone missing. We should go look for them and send the fucking party to go look for them. There's no way that that wouldn't happen. And what, is it because like it took them like over a thousand years to get here in the first place? So it's going to take them another thousand years? So really in a thousand years, they're going to be like, hey, those earth guys, they, they, they've got to wait a thousand years, but in a thousand years time, we're going to beat their fucking asses. Like, is that really what's going to happen? So it's like, it, it's, it's, it's a bit of both sides. This is like, is this really true? Is it not? I don't know. Even even right now, I'm I feel like I'm becoming that dude from that documentary where he has the fucked up hair like this, and he's just sitting there. It's just aliens. That's literally what I feel like right now. But like I said, it, it is it is interesting, and I definitely think there is, there is something out there. But I I seriously doubt that it would have crashed. I feel like if aliens do come to this planet, they're either gonna come guns firing. Or they're going to come and just be like, hey guys, what's up? Um, this is us. We just want to say hi. Uh, here's the, here's um, the, P the PlayStation 10. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't ask us how we got it. And um, anyways, also here is um, the new Elder Scrolls that you've been waiting for. Also you GTA 7 as well. There you guys go. Those, those ones on the house. And then they'll just all give us all new phones and shit. Tell us how to actually run our economy. Tell us actually how to run our countries. And like make us all live in peace. And then we'll all just be chill. Sitting at home playing video games and not having to earn money from it. They'll give us AI that won't turn on us. So I reckon that's what will happen, to be honest. I'd rather that than then just coming out and just blowing up the whole entire planet. But who knows? I reckon that's one of the two ways. I seriously doubt that it just shit has crashed here. Especially if it's happened so many times. Um, as, you know, everyone's predicting that it's happened. You know, there's been so many alien sightings. The majority of them, I reckon, like, 99% of them are fake. There's probably only 1% of them that are actually true. But at the same time, I don't know. It, it, this is all just tinfoil hat conspiracy shit. It, it's pretty funny at the same time, but the fact that the dude is getting, like, um, you know investigated for being a whistleblower is interesting at the same time and you know i can't wait to see what comes out of this um so yeah hopefully in the next couple weeks i definitely think that it will take longer actually than a couple weeks i think this could take a few months before we actually hear any lead up to this obviously the um congress or whatever the hell it was um the u.s conduct uh, th their little meeting that they had today 
or yesterday, sorry. Um, who knows how long that's going to go for now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm actually excited to hear what comes on. I love these tin for hat conspiracies. Like I said, they're, they're funny as hell. So yeah, that's it for me. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.